Why spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on acrylic pour artwork when you can make it yourself for about 20 bucks? For this project we used a framed 18 by 18 inch canvas which we bought at Hobby Lobby for $13.99. We also got a variety of different colors of acrylic paints and they were $12.99 for a 16.9 ounce bottle. You will also mix the paint with something called pouring medium. This is one of the more expensive parts of the project and a half gallon bottle is $24.99. Keep in mind that you can always find a 20 to 40 percent off coupon online while you're shopping. There are links to all of the products used in the description as well as a volume calculator to help you determine how much paint and pouring medium you'll need. You're also going to need to add one to two drops of liquid silicone to each container of paint. They sell various types of silicone that are pretty expensive in the art stores, but we like to use Organics Coconut Milk Hair Serum. A 4 ounce bottle is $5.99 and you only need a drop or two. You also need some disposable plastic cups, some wooden craft sticks to stir everything up, four cup hooks to help level the painting while you're working on it, and it's helpful to have a level as well. Now it's time to get started. Just remember, there is no correct way to do anything, and sometimes mistakes turn out to look pretty cool. It's very helpful to have an adequate space to work, so clear off a table or a countertop and start putting out all the different paints you're going to be using. Put an ounce or two of each of the different colors of acrylic paint that you would like to use for your project in a disposable cup with a craft stick. Next, add pouring medium at about a 3 to 1 ratio. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's art and you're having fun. Mix everything up really well, checking the consistency. It should be similar to warm honey. If it's too thick, just add a drop or two of distilled water. Next, put in one or two drops of the silicone. Repeat this for each of the individual colors and make sure everything is mixed up really well. Here's some relaxing mixing music. Finally, you're ready to pour the acrylic onto the canvas. Since you're going to be pouring it, it's important to make sure that everything is level. A nice little trick is to put cup hooks in the bottom, and you can fine-tune the adjustments to make sure that everything is perfectly level before pouring it. The base coat for this painting is white. So first the white is applied to the canvas, and then it's spread evenly all over the top and the sides with a spatula. As the paint settles for a few minutes it will begin to level out. This is why it's a good idea to have everything level and also to put some plastic underneath otherwise everything will slide off to one side. Of course being that it's an abstract painting that might be the effect you're going for but in this case it is not. Next, apply the colors in any random pattern that you wish. Next, tilt the painting from one end to the other always returning to the middle before changing direction. There are several different methods that can be used to blow the paint around, including using a heat gun, a hair dryer, or even a straw. 
Either way, you can do it however you want because each painting is original. Don't be afraid to add some more paint in different areas if you'd like to add a splash of color or just change up the look a bit. You can make your painting as original as you would like. Some people add metallic foil or different pieces of paper or anything to give it some texture. Finally, use the spatula to scrape any remaining paint that may have run over the sides to clean it up a bit. Some people will put a top coat of a clear acrylic to make it look like it's under glass. Just wait 24 hours and hang it on your wall. Your friends are going to think you bought it at an art store.